guys, so now let's take a look and do a bit of an unboxing and check out the new Evergrow Aqua Ocean LED lights. Uh, first thing we got, uh, we've got a nice remote control. Um, so the whole thing is wireless. We do have remote control with a little program, a little touch screen on it to control everything, which is kind of cool because it makes the picture super tiny. It gets a lot of the clutter next to buttons. We got our hanging kit. Yeah, we got some screws, probably for mounting the bars. We have some aluminum bars for a tank mounting. Good old instruction manual. Charging cable for the controller. We got our power supply. Rim mounts for the tank, and we have the light fixture itself. So let's go look at it. It has a nice little red trim line, and you can see the LEDs on the bottom. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this fixture is it's solid aluminum, which means it's excellent for cooling. And I also like the very minimalistic look of it. So so far, there's no buttons on it. All you have is this black aluminum fixture, and the LEDs. There is active cooling as well. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see how much the fans kick on or if it, the passive cooling itself does it. But yeah, it's really cool how minimal this is. You guys have seen my tank. Um, I currently have the XR15s, which I love. So I'm really curious to see how this compares. But I do love the minimalistic design of it. So let's plug it in and check it out. Power on. And it is definitely pretty bright. I don't know if the camera's picking it up properly, but 50% seems extremely bright. But to get a better comparison, let's move it over the tank and see what it looks like. I have the new Evergrow on the right hand side, and on the left, you can see my three XR15s. Um, I unplugged the one closest to the Evergrow just so you can get a bit of a better comparison. I set both lights. Uh, my radions are currently set to 50%. And I just turned the Evergrow to 50%, and you can see it is substantially brighter at 50% relative to the radiance. So there's a ton of light output coming from this little guy. It has 90 degree lenses, which are excellent for tank penetration. So if you have a deep tank, I think this light would do an amazing job. Now, one of the really cool features that I like about this, as mentioned earlier, is the passive cooling. The whole fixture is a big solid chunk of aluminum. Um, there is two fans in there. I've been playing with this for a little bit now for the last 20 minutes or so and so far I've not heard the fans kick on. So under normal uses this light fixture would be extremely quiet which is actually one of the things I love. That and just how thin it is. So it's a very aesthetically pleasing light and the color output is actually quite nice. Uh, it's kind of rich colors, everything's, I don't know if it's a little bit blue, it turned it a bit whiter just for the cameras, but it's pretty darn comparable with the color spectrum to the Radeons. Um, it's a little more, slightly more washed out on the white, but that's just because everything's at 50%. We can tweak the colors and I bet I can make a match just about perfectly. Alright, so it has everything at 100%, it's crazy bright. So now I'll put the same thing with the Radeons. And yeah, you can still tell uh, the Evergrow is way brighter than the Radeon. So, depends what you're doing. Uh, this, I believe, has a 90. The Evergrow has a 90 degree lens, so it does have a lot of penetrating power. So, if you have a deeper tank, I think this would be an excellent light to use for it. Um, even price-wise, you get a lot of spread relative to the XR15s. Um, I already have the Radeons. I love them. However, if I was starting fresh, and you would probably save a ton of money by using the Evergrow fixtures. And so far, performance-wise, it's looking pretty good. Uh, one of my favorite things is literally how thin this thing is. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Um, if I was to mount it, I'd obviously mount it sideways, similar to what the XR15s are now. But on a cube tank, or you know, on a regular tank, it's fairly sleek. For mounting, you have two options. Um, the one really cool thing is they have this built-in hanger. Uh, it's not quite built in, but there's screws already in the channel. All you do is screw on little adapters, and you are ready to hang. 
can even adjust the height of it just by pushing that little nub on the top and the cable slide up and down. Now if you don't want to hang it or you don't have a canopy, you just want the rimless tank mount or rimmed, it does have these little metal brackets that slide in. They adjust in and outwards, so for different size tanks, and they just mount on the rim of the glass. So it gives you pretty much any option you would need for mounting right out of the box. So to give you an idea of some of the default modes, um, the first one's on right now is just sunny, so everything's at about 50%. Next we'll go back and we'll try cloudy. So same thing, everything drops down to around 10%, it's a little more subdued. We got our built-in moonlights and custom. So out of the box, custom's kind of your pre-programmed mode, it's programmed from the factory. Right now it's all turned down since it thinks it's 6 a.m. Got to set the time on the remote. However, the nice thing about this is you can set your own schedule. So for every single channel, there's six different channels on this light. You can set the intensity of each channel at any time you want in the day. So you can say at 1.11, channel 1's at 10%, channel 2's at 12%, and custom tune your colors throughout the day. Now the other nice thing is I've had this running for probably about 20-30 minutes now on top of the tank and I've not heard the fans kick on yet. It's been running about 50%. And you can see the two fans in there. They're both currently off, which means the solid block of aluminum for the housing is doing an excellent job. It's still not even barely warm to touch, so this would be a very quiet fixture, which I absolutely love. To learn more, check out the link below at reefsupplies.ca.